Hey guys, Sir Shwavy here, bringing you an episode of Minecraft, and we're actually going to create a new world. I have many worlds from way before, or rather, it's only two worlds, but I've deleted a couple of them, so overall, it's many worlds. And what happens to the fluffy part of the microphone? There you go. Well, it's, it's not really the fluffy part of the mi microphone as much as it is the, uh, the wind canceller. I don't really know what it's properly called, but let's open up a new world and we're gonna name it Sir Shwavy in uh, a reference to my YouTube channel so let's create a new world and let's begin Minecraft and I should say that it's been a very long time since I played Minecraft um, there hasn't been any updates since the last time I played though so it's so it can't be that long uh, which is a good thing you know uh, many of these aspects will be similar to what I'm used to playing as and again when I did play it before it wasn't on hardcore mode, it was just normal, although I do have a hardcore map file, um, so hopefully I'll be able to survive going through the night, and the most important thing that you want to keep in mind in any, whoa, nice, we get fruit, fruit? We get some fruit right off the bat, and I forgot, that's a new thing with Minecraft, you can actually set these blocks sideways. It's not just vertical anymore, it's sideways as well. So that's always a good thing, you know, having some more variety, some more realism going on in the Minecraft world. Oh my god, realism. How does it work? <laughs> but the first thing, as I said before, is we want to find a lot of wood and in order to survive, basically, because we need wood essentially for every tool that we're going to craft. Uh, actually, we need it even for the first door that we're going to uh, use to potentially keep off any... I see a jungle biome over there. I see some wolves over here. Hello, Wolfie. I'm gonna... Ah, get out of my way. I'm gonna come over here for some shrooms. Why? Because uh, if you can get brown and uh, those spotted red shrooms, you can actually make a mushroom soup. For those guys that don't know, uh, mushroom soup, I believe, will recover three hearts, and I believe you can use it twice. No, no, no. It's not that you can use it twice. I already see some creepers down there. Okay, stay away from that area. I am not ready at all. In no way, shape, or form am I ready to take on a bunch of creepers. However, I did find a nice little... Huh. I'm going to make my base up here. That, that'll work out. So, first thing we want to do is we're going to convert all of these wooden... All these... uh wood to wooden planks can't even speak and oops, right click to get some sticks let's get eight sticks for now and actually what we need to do as well is we need to make there you go make a crafting table because crafting table is going to be useful for us so I'm going to put it right here and the first tool that any survivor should probably be making is whoa got an achievement okay so apparently there has been an update or something or I haven't played it in a long time because I apparently got an up uh, an update. I apparently got an achievement for just making a simple pickaxe, a wooden pickaxe, no less. If it was a uh, stone one, then I assume I'm going to get another uh, achievement for that one. But what I'm doing right here is I'm not really making any uh, what's it called luxurious spots. It's just going to be a nice little place for me to be able to keep my eye on the time. In other words, right here, this is going to be my window so I can see what time, or what time of day, rather, it is outside. Uh, because, as you guys know, in the nighttime, monsters are out, and they're on the prowl. They're always hunting for humans, for survivors of Minecraftia, and they're trying to kill them. So what we want to do is we want to clear a, I'll just say a decent space for us in this uh, little hole. Actually, we're going to also want to set down our crafting table so that we can make a door. As I said before, this is going to be our first door, and the best way to put doors, I believe, is from the outside, so that way when you make a bow and arrow, you can shoot outwards, but they cannot shoot inwards. However, that's not entirely safe because zombies can break in, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually set a dirt block right behind it to essentially give it another layer of protection, or rather give me another layer of protection against uh, 
the harsh elements of the outside, and by elements I of course mean all the mobs that spawn, such as, and particularly, the creeper. Uh, also referring to the skeletons and, whoa, lag. Also referring to the skeletons, the spiders, um, what other creatures are there that hurt me? The zombie, there you go. How could I forget the zombie? The zombie's the most basic creature and it's been, it's actually been around since, I, per I think it's from the beginning, same as the creeper. Uh, spider, creeper, skeleton. I believe those are the ones that have been there from the beginning and then the other ones have been added on uh, afterwards. But, since right now it's still daytime, we're going to go outside to collect more resources. And the most important resource that I want to try to find, actually, before it turns night time, is some coal. And coal can be found usually around mountainous side uh, areas. In other words, it's going to be in a mountainous region usually, because you can find them on the walls of some stone, potentially. Or, if you are unlucky enough to not be able to find any, you will have to go digging around in order to find some, such as appears to be my case actually. Looks like I'm going to have to seal myself off and make some... Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's anything. That's jungle biome over there. Wow, there's a lot of trees. It would be a shame if it were to set on fire, you know, because everything would go up in smoke, so to say. Okay, so it doesn't seem to be, or rather, there doesn't seem to be any, any, uh, I was about to say iron, not iron. Uh, if there doesn't seem to be any, uh, what's it called? Coal. There you go. There does not seem to be any coal right now. Actually, what I can also do uh, to protect my house actually is just do this because. Wait. Hmm. Yeah, that works better. Because that way, they can't... Yeah, zombies won't be able to get anywhere near this. Unless they spawn right on the door, which would be weird... Very weird? It would be very weird. English, how does it work? Uh, it would be very weird if a zombie were to just spawn right outside my doorstep. You know, just getting an upgrade, as I said before. Apparently, I have not played this game at all. <laughs> even though I have files. But, um, yeah, it would be very weird if the zombie were to just spawn on the doorstep as... It would, you know, essentially just let them break in. Thankfully, though, uh, before they break into your house, they're so generous enough, or rather, they're generous enough to uh, make... Actually, another thing that I should do before I even head further is make a stone sword. Stone swords are actually going to be needed, essentially, in this first night um, because of what the night holds, and if you guys are wondering what I'm doing, I'm going to be doing a nice little zigzag pattern. So, okay, no more zigzag pattern. Um, is there any coal potentially down there? If there is no coal, then I have to find coal. And actually, I... Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, you know, I need, I need, I need to go down. I need to go down right now, otherwise I'm not going to make it through the night. Okay, so... The reason that I was freaking out is I don't have any light source, so I'm going to need a light source, actually. I'm also going to need some food, now that I think about it. All I have is an apple to last me a whole night. That's not going to work out, if you think about it. One apple for a day. It may keep the doctor away, but it will not keep the creatures and the mobs away, you know. <laughs> It'd be so cool if they made, like, doctors and stuff. I know technically the villagers are uh, designed to be a uh, village village people? That, yeah, that makes sense. The villagers are designed to be village people. No, what I meant to say is, um, villagers are designed to have specific roles, but they don't really do anything right now. Potentially, they'll do stuff in later. I believe there's a wizard. Uh, I believe I also saw a farmer, and I believe there was also a doctor. I believe those are the three villagers that I've seen. Um, I'm not sure if there are any more uh, other than those. There could potentially be. Hell, this is Minecraft, the world of infinite, infinitesimal um, growth. I mean, essentially, this game started off as an indie game, and it has since grown to be the biggest selling and uh, the most profitable indie game of all time, I'll say. I'm not really sure because I don't really keep up with the indie world um, as much as other people do. I, I kind of tend to go with whatever gives me joy. I don't really tend to experiment that much. And then again, 
when it comes to console games, I kind of do experiment, let's be honest. If you don't experiment, you're never gonna have a lot of fun, I mean... Technically, if you don't experiment, you'll never even get to play any game at all, because you'll always be like, I don't know, whatever game you play, you'll just want the next edition of that game. So if you played, let's go really old school, if you played some Pac-Man when you were younger, um, you're going to be like, where is Pac-Man 2, which is technically Miss Pac-Man. So then you just wait for that game to come out. Once that game comes out, I'm going to get rid of this wood and stuff, because I don't really need it right now. Uh, once that game comes out, once that game comes out, rather, not comes is out, comes is out, what does that even mean? Words, how do you speak them? Anyways, what we're going to do here is we're going to add this. Let's burn some birch wood. Birch wood is not really uh, too necessary. Okay, so I believe we'll only get one. Yeah, it seems like we're only going to get one before it. You know what? Can I burn the oak sapling? I believe I can burn the oak sapling. Okay. Do I burn this as well? Okay, I did not mean to make a second one. That's not going to work out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this and put one piece of charcoal there in order to make um, um, some more charcoal. And if you guys didn't know, one piece of charcoal is able to, I believe, um, cook... I. Is it 16 pieces or 8 pieces? I don't remember if it's 16 or 8. We're going to find out in the end because, essentially, we're not. Uh, we're either going to have some remaining and, or we're, we're going to cook all of the, uh, or smelt, if you will, all of the iron. I don't really know what I'm trying to say there anymore. But anyways, now that we have this, we should, might as well just dig our way downward. So the best way to go down would be just to use dirt since it doesn't really... Uh, serve any other purpose other than just being uh, essentially a building material to to make stuff with. All right, so there you go. All right, now that we're down here, we have another window. Awesome. We got a nice little little pool area. That's that's pretty good. Doesn't really seem to have anything extra other than just being a pool area. So yeah, essentially, I'm just gonna have to get out of here then. All right. Uh, since it's night time, let's see. I have five pieces of coal. Technically six pieces. Now seven. Okay, so it does only cover eight pieces of uh, whatever. You know, it only cooks eight pieces of that per every charcoal or coal. So I'll cut the episode short here. And in the next episode, we're going to see what. Actually, I don't even know what to do with this area. Should I clear it out, or should I just make a nice little pool area so I can get water later? Um, I'll see you in the next episode. Anyways, thanks for watching. This is Sir Shwavy. Um, see you guys in the next video. And goodbye, sirs.